Hey guys, it's Pro Michael here. Today I'm gonna go ahead and make a sad video. Um, I wanna post uh, this sad story on my channel. Uh, this is a real story. Before I say anything at all, I just wanna, even though the family of this one dude won't ever know about this video probably. I just want to send to say that I'm really sorry about their loss. Uh, I'm not happy about it. I'm actually quite sad. And uh, well, uh, without uh, further ado, let's start with this. Uh, I don't want to creep you out. I don't want to confuse you. Um, let's start from the beginning. At the beginning of this uh, year, I went to a party where I had a problem with this dude because his girlfriend thought I'd grab her ass. It's a long story and I don't want to get into it. The thing is that I swear I didn't and because of that I lost most of my friends because he thought that I grabbed his girlfriend ass. Um, I lost pretty much most of my friends. So... This dude was called Pato. I'm only gonna call him by his nickname. And he was a really intense guy. He was really crazy. Um, he liked drinking a lot. He liked being wasted. He liked going to parties only to be wasted pretty much. And he was really crazy. He was crazy and that scared me a lot she they he actually uh at ten, it told me that he was gonna kill me and uh, and they he told me he was pretty much gonna fuck me up so um last friday on um 20 20 of june 2014 this one dude called pato uh, he was a 20 year old, he was 20 years old, he was a ex, uh, a student from my school, he died, he, he died, he, it's over, he's dead, the one dude that tried to fuck me up, that because of him I lost most of my friends is dead, now I will tell you why did he died. I'm not gonna tell you how, cause I I don't even know how he exactly died, but I'm gonna tell you why. He died because of drinking. He went to a party. He got wasted. I don't know exactly what happened. There's a lot of people saying there's a lot of rumors. But he died because he was drunk. So, why am I talking? about this one dude that tried to fuck me up is now dead why am i talking about something like that i'm not telling you that it's fine i'm actually really sad i don't even know the dude i i i, I actually have never talked with him and he he pretty much made all my friends hate me and he made me fear for my life pretty much because he told me he was gonna stab me or some stuff but I'm seriously quite sad because he's dead. Like, I prefer him fucking me up than he dying. He's dead and there's nothing else to it. He's right now dead. It's over. So, what can I say about this? Why am I talking about this? I'm talking about this because I just want to give a warning about the alcohol. Because there's a lot of people that I know that because of alcohol, their lives have been either finished or ended. And others that their life is pretty much full of pain. And it's, it's pathetic that only because one substance ruins your life. So from something that should be really awesome and a best memory of your life is now the worst thing uh, could happen to you. So now, I know that most of you who are watching this video 
uh, probably don't go drinking that much or you don't go to parties and stuff well I'm gonna tell you um, I know a lot of people that is underage and there they have drank on to get I'm pretty much get wasted uh, even myself I'm not gonna lie I've been one of those guys and I have learned something during my short life what can you do to stay alive meanwhile you're drunk okay so uh, what a like I'm not gonna tell you never drink because drinking is it's legal and you're gonna do it and everyone's gonna do it and everyone's gonna smoke and everyone's gonna something so I'm not gonna say don't drink I prefer saying what's the best thing you can do to stay alive if you're drunk so well rule number one never leave a party if you're drunk or whatever you are just don't leave, don't move, stay there. If you feel you're really wasted and stuff, if you feel that you're really wasted and can't move and everything is really slow, don't move, don't move from your chair, don't. Cause, okay, so let me give you a, a, a thinking of what could happen if you move from where you are. The first thing is that if you're outside on the street, something horrible can happen. Either you can get kidnapped, raped. Even though you're a man, doesn't matter. You have an anus, and sick people know that, and they're gonna probably do something really bad to you. So yes, never leave a party because if you go out, you can either get kidnapped, or ram over, or there's other drunk people outside. So you can get either into a fight, or someone that's drunk driving can kill you. Because I know someone that happened that to him. Now, what other thing you can do if you're drunk? Well, never let someone that you know that he can be drunk drive the car. Because if you're not driving a car and the other guy is drunk driving a car, the one's taking you to your house or the one taking you somewhere, but if the pilot, the one in in charge of the car is drunk is the same thing if you is pretty much the same if you were driving so it doesn't matter if it's your best friend and he knows how to drive if he's wasted just don't it's it's the worst thing you can do driving a car or letting someone or at least being in a car with someone also intoxicated as well so don't do that it's just the second rule i can say and number three um i know it would sound real weird or whatever but try to if if you can if you're in the middle of the night just imagine uh, this scenario you you went to a party the party is over, but you're really wasted. And you don't have no money for a taxi or whatever. Or your friends left you because the one dude that was going to take you home felt bad and he had to go. And he left you because that had happened to me. But what can you do is just call your parents um if you're a teenager call your parents because if you get uh, ran over or kidnapped or whatever the police is gonna call your parents and they're gonna wake up still so um it's gonna be um better that if you call your parents or a teacher because um that had happened to me and i have called my parents or my teachers and they have brought me home and so do that because your teachers and your parents are the ones in charge of you uh, you can say that oh no the teacher it's not that private you just imagine that a teacher is like your second parent or a family member because they have been most of your a teacher has been most of your life or well at least most of the year with you 
you have been in a large part with a teacher in your life so just think about that and remember just stay safe just try to um, um, do smart stuff don't let don't let no one else be in charge of you just stay alive stay safe and if you die the one that's gonna actually suffer is not you it's your family members are your friends are your whatever depends with you but just stay safe just stay alive that's all I can say and uh, well as someone I really like would say is either you run the day or the day runs you so that's pretty much all I have to say um I just want to make this uh, brief video to uh, talk about the alcohol in the name of this one dude that tried to fuck me up um I don't know you that much I've probably seen you like once in my entire life but whatever you are I hope you rest in peace um, not really good at this but thank you for watching the vid uh, please watch my other videos uh, I normally don't do this type of videos but as long as there is more informational videos out there I think it's, there's gonna be more people safe so at least I want a couple of videos about how to take care of yourself because I know it sounds kind of stupid that uh, someone is telling you how to take care of yourself but trust me there's people that don't know how actually to take care of themselves not even myself actually so ah uh, it's all I can say so thank you for watching uh, please stop by for my other videos until next time, peace.